Hello again. Welcome back to my first playthrough of Trails in the Sky the Third. We are currently in the middle of Moondor 4, I think, which is a side quest with Joshua and Estelle. And it's about, you know, their past when Joshua first came to live with them and his interactions with Estelle, which have been kind of hilarious. She is 100% herself <laughs> in the best and worst ways. But anyway, we're going to pick up on that one here. The next day. I can't believe him. Not even a jumbo mantis or a double seahorse were enough to get a reaction. He must have really fancy tastes. <laughs> okay, today will be the day I'll impress him. Oh yes. No one can resist the power of the Bug of Legends. Well, hello there, Estelle. What are you doing standing around out here? Are you off to do some bug catching? I sure am. But today's not going to be just any bug catching day. Oh, do tell. Today, I'm going to make a special syrup that attracts bugs. And with it, I'll be able to catch a super amazing one. Really? That's interesting. But seriously, sweetie, you're 11 now, and a girl. I think you should be starting to dress a bit more like one at your age. A bit more like one at your age. There we go. I wants her to dress like a girl. I got there. Wrong inflection. These are comfier and way easier to move around in. Anyway, bye! Estelle? Some things never change. We wouldn't want her to change, though, let's be honest. Okay, first, I need to get all the ingredients I need to make my super duper syrup. Alyssa should be able to give me some dragon beans, so that's easy. Then there's the fresh milk and fresh eggs. Tea will give me some if I ask nicely, maybe. <laughs> check for new sneakers. Hmm, it might be more fun to go check the shop for new sneakers right now. I love that that's an option. Estelle. Take it you're here to look at sneakers? You bet. Are there any new ones in? We sure do. I have nothing new at all. Sorry, kiddo. Our next delivery is due the 16th, if my schedule is any indication. The 16th? That's only a week away. One more week. Just one more week. Um, Estelle? Oh, hi! You came at just the right time. I've just found some clothes that I think would look so cute on you. Today will be the day you finally get to realize your potential as a girl with some nice clothes. But I can't wear them now. I'm going bug catching. They'll just get dirty. Wait, I'm going bug catching. I almost forgot because I was thinking about sneakers. Back to getting ingredients. Time to go see Alyssa. Full speed ahead. If that little bundle of energy didn't already have enough to power an airship, now she's got more than ever. I wonder what's gotten her so fired up. The boy she likes. Sort of. Doesn't actually like him yet. Oh, Estelle. I still can't get over how cool Joshua was yesterday. I want to hear him play the harmonica again. You'll be lucky to get that out of him. He won't even talk now. He hasn't said a word since we heard him playing. What? For real? Yeah. Maybe it was my fault for taking his harmonica without permission and trying to play it too. <sighs> you silly thing. Listen, Estelle? Joshua doesn't seem to want to talk about it, but it feels to me like he's had some kind of painful experience that's bothering him. So... Oh, I know. You do? He's got something serious on his mind. I can tell. Sometimes I look at him, and he looks like he's really in pain about something. But I don't think I'd be able to help him with whatever it is, even if I knew. So, that's why I just want to try and cheer him up in my own way for now. Aw, that's really sweet of you. Anyway, give me some dragon beans! What? Like, the coffee beans? And you're going to use those for... That's a secret. You're so weird, Estelle. Well, okay, hold on a sec, I'll go get some. 
I did not realize dragon beans were coffee beans. Here you go. Thanks. Now I gotta go to Chio's house. I need to get some fresh milk and eggs from her. What the heck are you planning, Estelle? <laughs> I'll show you later. You might pass out from surprise, though. You know what? I think I'm okay with not knowing. Anyway, see you later! Aw, now I wish she'd told me. Tio! Hey, Estelle, what's up? Wait, forget it. I know just from how you're dressed. Mm -hmm. Today's bug catching is special, though. But first, I need some fresh milk and fresh eggs. What in heaven's name do you need those for? Don't tell me you've suddenly developed an interest in cooking or something. Well... Bug of Legends? Yep, I'm trying to give Joshua the surprise of his life. I'm still not sure I'm following all of this. Let me try again. I guess you're trying to make some kind of aromatic capable of attracting that bug? Probably. Just whatever you do, promise not to get any of it on me, alright? I won't, I won't. I don't know if I believe you. Here's what you wanted. Oh, and one more thing before you go, Estelle. Hmm? If you really see him as your little brother, you should start gradually opening up to him about the past. Try getting him to do the same with you, too. Maybe try talking to him about your mom? Yeah, I can do that. It doesn't feel like the kind of thing you need to sit and have a big serious discussion about, though. We're always going to be together, so I think he'll get it eventually. Because we're family now. Well, I tried. That's a very you way to look at it, but I mean that in a good way. Thanks, Tio! Okay, I've got everything I need now. All I gotta do is head to Mistwald and catch me the Bug of Legends. You just wait, Joshua. I'm gonna blow your socks off. Wait a second. She's not gonna go there all by herself, is she? Just what is this Bug of Legends thingy, anyway? Maybe I'll stop by for a little bit. Oh, if it isn't young Estelle, what are you doing here? Oh, hi, Mr. Mayor. Were you thinking of playing in the clock tower? The repairs on it were finally finished last month. Yeah, I know. The artisans of the town all put their heads together to try and make it as close to the original as possible. They tried to use as many of the original materials as they could, too. So, what do you think? It looks almost exactly like it did, doesn't it? I guess. I don't really remember it that well, though. You know, looking at this clock tower fills me with a magical energy. It makes me feel like everyone in Roland, no, like anyone I've ever met, is supporting this town and wishing it well. It does? That's why this spot is really important to me. Oh. I gotcha. You just wait, Joshua. I'm gonna go catch me the Bug of Legends. Pardon? Uh, um, Estelle? Full speed ahead! Whatever was that about? Poor Mayor is so confused. Say, like, what the heck? I can smell the scent of my prey. Somewhere around here should be good. I'm going with this one. It's just screaming, pick me! La la la, and duh. Today's the day Joshua loves bugs. I mean, Spug is legendary. 
He's in for the shock of his life. Oh boy. Thank you for everything. And he's planning to leave. That sounded like Estelle. Did something happen to her? No. It might not have. It's Estelle. She probably just tripped. But... No. Whatever may or may not have happened to her, it's got nothing to do with me anymore. She's got nothing to do with me anymore. Oh, damn it. Oh, that's a lot. This is mine. You can't have it. Go away. Shoo, shoo. Don't come any closer. Are you listening to me? Get behind me. <sighs> this is about as much as I can do with my current stamina. They ran away. Um, Joshua? What is wrong with you? What are you even doing this far in a place this dangerous? Did you even stop to think what might happen? You're a child. Don't put yourself in unnecessary danger. Why do you never stop to think before diving headfirst into anything? For once in your life, try and look before you leap. Otherwise, Joshua, you came at just the right time. It's not funny. If I hadn't, look at this. Look, look, I finally caught one. This is it. This is the Bug of Legends! What? It's huge. Isn't it cool? Um, Joshua? If something bad happened to you in the past, but you don't want to talk about it, then I'm not going to force you to. I'll just wait until you feel ready to talk about it with me. Till then, I'll be right here by your side, waiting. The other thing I'll do is give you this bug, so cheer up, okay? You're telling me that bug's somehow legendary? Because I don't see what's so impressive about it. What? But it's huge! This is the most awesome bug in the entire world! Nope, not in the slightest. Ugh, you just wait. I'll find a bug that'll amaze you, even if I have to search forever and ever. So you just wait right here. You amaze me more than any bug ever will. Oh, Because I can't believe how much I've changed because of you. You're such a strange girl. That is the understatement of the century. It was then that I made a promise to myself. It was for my own good and no one else's. The only condition by which I could permit something as unnatural as me to be allowed to live in this peaceful world. Doing so was the most cowardly thing I could have possibly done, but I hope you can forgive me. I was more concerned about that than about continuing to deceive myself. On the final day... Wow, I can't believe how many people came to see us off. Thanks for coming. It means a lot that you came here to be with us. So, as I think you all know, Joshua and I are going to be away from the Burl for a while. We'll be traveling around the continent doing our bracer work from the various guilds in the countries we visit. We might be away for quite some time, too. Right now, we intend to travel across basically the whole continent. But one day, we will come back here to Roland. We promise. Yeah, we will. 
We'll make sure we've grown so much that you won't be able to believe your eyes when we come back, too. I still can't believe you decided all of this on your own, without ever consulting your loving papa. Oh, didn't they? They did not. That made taking time off to come see them off a real pain, let me tell you. I'm sorry about that, Dad. We realize we didn't give you much notice with this. It's something we discussed seriously, though. Hopefully you'll be able to believe what we're doing is for the best. As long as you've given serious thought to what you're doing, you have my support. So go out there and do what you want to. I'll always be right here waiting for you. Good to hear. Thanks, Dad. You're both fed or embracers at this point, so I'm sure you don't need much in the way of advice. Instead, I'll keep this simple. From now on, it'll be up to you to decide what you need to learn and what you need to know. Focus on improving your powers of discernment. That's all I'll say. We'll be sure to take it to heart. Life as a bracer is very different in other countries compared to how it is here, as I'm sure you're about to find out. But the fundamentals are the same. Just do as we taught you here, and I'm sure you'll be just fine. Thanks. I'm sure all we were taught will come in handy if we ever find ourselves in a bind. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm sure you'll be able to handle anything you find yourselves up against. We taught you ourselves, after all. Follow your hearts with your heads held high. You'll be just fine. That means a lot to us. We can't thank you enough for all you've taught us over the years. And I'm sure it will keep coming in handy in the future, too. <laughs> for real, we really owe you two. Oh, there's no need to thank me. I've just done what I always can as your big sister. Don't drink or eat anything that seems funny while you're away, Estelle. Make sure you brush your teeth before bed, too, and that you don't get so caught up in work you forget to shower. And, and... Easy now, Stella. She's not a child anymore, you know. She knows how to take care of herself. I hope she can, because if you don't look after yourself, Estelle, I'll be showing up in your dreams. <laughs> Scary part is, I wouldn't put it past you to find a way to do that. Don't worry, that really won't be necessary, I swear. You take good care of her too, Joshua. And remember, there's always a job available for you at my shop if you want it. So come back safely, you hear? I will. Please take care of yourselves while we're away. I don't want you to go, Estelle. You won't forget about me, will you? Come on now, stop crying. Of course I won't. When we've settled in at wherever we end up next, we'll write to you right away, okay? Look after Alyssa while I'm away, okay, Tio? I will, I will. You make sure not to let Joshua get away while you're out of the country, too, okay? What? Duly noted. Do you two really have to go? Look at that. You've got the twin twins crying buckets now, too. It's no surprise this would be hard on them. You've been looking after them since they were babies. Of course they'll miss you. <laughs> I've got tons of great memories with them to keep me company while we're away, thankfully. It's probably going to be a while before we can see any of you again. But you'll never leave our thoughts. Promise. I'm gonna miss you. The Bose Bound Air Ladder will be departing shortly. All passengers, please board the airship at this time. Oh dear, looks like we're out of time. Well then, take care of yourselves. We will. You too, sir. Joshua? Have you made up your mind, then? I have. I want to be Joshua Bright, after all. I know the name distinction might not be a big deal in the eyes of others, but it is for me. It's part of me taking the first and most difficult step on this journey. It's part of making choices only I can make for myself. By the time we come back home, I want to have the strength to proudly declare living the rest of my life alongside you, Estelle, and everyone in Roland. Even after taking this first difficult step, it's not like I can guarantee it'll get any easier. Maybe on some days, it'll be so hard that I'll want to give up. Right now, though? Right now, I'm more than happy to go out there and find my own path to walk. If I can do that, I can finally feel like I'm working towards becoming the person I want to be. Very well, then. That's the kind of positive attitude I wanted to see. It suits you. Thanks. That's the best compliment you could have possibly given me. 
I swear, what is it with the men in our family? Would it kill the two of you to talk so that the rest of us can understand what you're saying? But whatever. Come on, Joshua. Get on board or you're going to be left behind. I'm coming, I'm coming. Well, see you around. When you come back here next, I'm going to be a bracer just like you. I am. Now that I want to see. You don't think I can do it, do you? I'm serious. By the time you get back, I'll be a bracer. I swear. I, I think I want to become one too. So, don't worry. We'll be back. We promise. I can't wait to work you two to the ground as co-workers. I'll be counting on you to have my back. So don't let us down, okay? I, I won't. Never forget that there's always a home for you here. No matter how long you're away, that will never change. We won't. Thanks, Dad. We'll see you later. I forgot about Luke and Pat. Ooh, 8,000 Mira. That was a lot for that one. Okay, we're gonna end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, next, I believe we're going to do Chloe's Door. So that one will probably be split into several different videos. But I think that's the only one I have left currently. Um, yeah, Moon Door 3 is Chloe's. Star Door 6 I can't do because I haven't learned that many recipes. And then this one, I'm not sure if I can get to it or not right now, but either way I don't really want to. So all we have left is Chloe's Moon Door, and that's going to be ridiculous. But after that, we will finally continue on with the main story. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time.